Alright guys, I've been meaning to make this video for a while. There's a huge issue in the Republican Party that we need to talk about. There are high-ranking members that are pushing things like baby murder is okay and gay marriage, which traditionally aren't actually conservative and shouldn't be welcome in the Republican Party and the conservative movement. To name one specific person is Dr. Mehmet Oz. He is running for senator in Pennsylvania. Lots of you may know him. He has been advocating that abortion is okay. He has said, I don't think there should be any penalty for women or doctors that perform an abortion. And you know, here on the Gen Z Patriot channel, we always show our receipts. So roll the film. I've said there should not be criminal penalties for doctors or women regarding abortion. I've said there should not be criminal penalties for doctors or women regarding abortion. Dr. Oz goes on later in that interview to say he's pro-life. But let me ask you a question, Dr. Oz. If you actually think a baby is a life and it's worth something, why wouldn't you want to criminalize the murder of it? Why wouldn't you want to criminalize the doctor that kills it in the womb and the mother that consents to it? It's really weird. There should be a criminal penalty because it's murder. And I really respect Trump most of the time, but I do not understand why he would endorse this. This is not the Republican Party I signed up for or the conservative movement I want to fight for. Ever since Roe vs. Wade was codified, over 60 million babies have been killed. And luckily, the conservative Supreme Court has recently taken that away. But abortion is still allowed in the United States. And senators like this, even though they say they're a Republican, they're not really. They're a rhino. Republican in name only. And that's the only thing they're good for, the name Republican. So I don't understand why Trump would endorse this. And that's not the only thing Dr. Oz has done. He's also said things like he supports gay marriage. And whatever your opinion on homosexuality is, it's irrelevant. Marriage is a sacred unity between a man and a woman. And the government shouldn't be enforcing, saying that gay marriage should be allowed because that's not what marriage is. And Dr. Oz is doing this to gain votes, but it's not actually gonna help him. It's gonna make conservatives mad at him and not wanna vote for him because he's a rhino. And if you don't believe me, look at this tweet on the screen. He said it today. It's not helping anyone, Dr. Oz. It's hurting the conservative movement. And that's why we don't just vote for people for the sake of winning an election. We need to vote for people that actually have the Republican and conservative values at the center of their movement. Not people that own mansions in New Jersey and move to Pennsylvania for political power, but that actually care about America and want to make a difference. And don't just come from the Hollywood elite and a New Jersey nationalist to get power. So if you want to vote for Dr. Oz, that's fine because he's the only Republican that has a chance at winning, but he's not much better than Fetterman. The only difference is he has an R next to his name and he pretends to care about America. But we need to fight and vote for people that actually care about this country. Thank you for listening and please keep this in mind as you hear all these grifters and fake people that just want to get power. Thanks for watching.